What up, folks? I am Sal Sapriano, letterer of such AWA titles like The Resistance and Erratic Hotel, so many more, as well as the one we're going to be looking at today, which is Sacrament, an awesome horror title. A little bit of an exorcist in space, if you will. In space, no one can hear you pray. But we're going to look at a little bit of a process video on how I go about doing my lettering for AWA Studios. So when AWA sends me work to do, they send me three specific things. First up, you get this script here, Sacrament by Peter Milligan. As you can see, this is how it's laid out. You see numbers here, which corresponds to this other thing they send, which is the Sacrament Balloon Placements. Uh, which is cool because, you know, this helps me out, especially when a series is starting because you don't know who the characters are yet. So it really helps me out to, you know, establish which characters are which and the basic general flow. The third part of the puzzle is the beautiful art by Marcelo Frizen. This looks amazing. Uh, I love the colors in this. Again, just an inspiring book. So you got the three elements and this art here is actually placed in my illustrator template which is plain as you see it has uh, my name on the side you know a little information guide and then uh, on top of that there is plenty of things that you know come up like we have a lot of uh, pointers and uh, balloons uh, that make up this entire thing so as you can see here this is a general template. I've been using this for years as the base template, and then you build from there. And what I mean by building is each book is going to need its own style guide. So what that means is, you know, you read the script, you take a look at the art, and, you know, try to figure out what is going to look best on uh, this type of art. So for this particular one, I went with borderless or stroke list as I should say um, balloons and pointers which is good and then uh, for the main captions as you can see here because our main character is a priest he's got a cross caption for the first one which is an old style thing to do first caption on a page always has a little symbol and then you know not always but I like to do that it's pretty fun uh, just gives it a little more character, you know, for the characters, right? And then the preceding ones do not. So that's the basic guide there. As you can see here on the side, you know, you just create things and get it ready to go. And, you know, then you can move on and just start lettering uh, the book. And when that's all done, you take this stuff, you put it in a PDF, uh, you know, all the separate pages, and you send it over. And that is it. That is my lettering process on how I letter books for AWA and basically anyone across the comic industry. The thing that varies is the placement. Some people give it to you, some people don't. But otherwise, that is it, guys. I hope you uh, dug it. Thanks to AWA for having me on this creator spotlight. Till next time, peace out, peeps.